Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this Axis VM training course and the topic for today will be the backlink analysis. Uh, I've opened, uh, as usual, uh, a model. It doesn't matter exactly uh, what it does because the idea here is to open uh, the dialog box that correspond to this tab backlink and to see what each of the parameters does and what it means. So starting with this buckling and following all the previous uh, tabs we've seen, uh, buckling is uh, another uh, type of analysis and uh, it is a phenomenon that you know also as buckling. Uh, a little more uh, detailed explanation to say that this analysis lets you determine the lowest, which we can say the initial, uh, bucking load multiplier and the corresponding mode shapes. Um, so it's not very uh, easy to, not very hard to understand. So this is the dialog box of the buckling analysis. Um, solution control, uh, so here you can select uh, as it was in vibration and dynamic. Um, you can select load cases or the combinations in this view. Um, and, and the program will run uh, a linear static analysis before the backlink uh, is executed. Um, then you have uh, these the cases and uh, and the number of mode shapes. Uh, we have available uh, for the number of mode shapes 99, and we have a minimum of six or a default value of six. Better saying. Then we have this um, item here called uh, number of of buckling uh, mode shapes. Uh, which is uh, again uh, default 6 and below convergence criteria it's very similar to uh, what was seen for the dynamic um, we can set the number of maximum iterations and then uh, give uh, some tolerances for either the hygiene value and hygiene vector so and, and the software when executes the calculation will try to um, find a solution inside the tolerance that it is given. Um, it is important to say, uh, this is a little part uh, of this dialog box, that in terms of beams and ribs, uh, the buckling uh, of these uh, beams and ribs is considered uh, only in plan of the buckling. Uh, and this means that the deformed shape of the element remains in a plan and the cross section does not warp. Okay, it is very important to understand what we can do with this. In terms of trusses, um, the flexural buckling of truss are not considered by axis today. Okay. Um, you must calculate the buckling load of each truss manually or by modeling the trusses by four elements each, okay, with the corresponding end releases. Uh, so it is important because uh, as in any program, we have certain limitations. But basically, uh, this is what we can talk about in terms of this buckling analysis, and uh, I hope it clears um, the, the possibilities. Uh, again, we have some information and some examples uh, also in, in some specific videos for uh, examples. Uh, I think it would be interesting at least to see what is done there and probably you will see a couple of uh, details and a couple of uh, results about what we can achieve with this buckling analysis. Any support, any additional help you may need, you know already, you can send us a contact through the usual channels and uh, we will give you all the help uh, that it is available from our side.